there are good data showing that if people do six second sprints, max all out sprints on a stationary bicycle, followed by one minute rest and repeat that six times, you see significant acute effects on brain performance. Regardless of the cognitive test that's used, that very short duration, high intensity training increases performance significantly. As well, 20 or 30 minutes of so-called steady state cardio, you know, figuring out how fast you can run or row or swim or stationary bike for 20 to 30 minutes at a steady state. And then you analyze people's cognitive performance on a memory task can be a working memory task. So remembering a short string of numbers, or it could be math problems. It could be the Stroop task. Any number of different tests reveal the same thing, which is that the longer duration, lower intensity cardio also significantly improves performance. But in every case where you explore the acute, the immediate changes that occur in brain output and function after people do that sort of exercise, you're going to see significant increases. When one does physical exercise, short duration, high intensity, cardio, or higher intensity resistance training, single joint training, compound training, single joint isolation exercises, compound exercises, one sees these increases in brain performance, at least acutely in the immediate stage after the training. So we have to ask ourselves, why is it, how is it that all these different forms of exercise are positively impacting brain performance?